Hey angels, welcome back to Unique Mystery. So I have a story time for you guys today. And this story time is about the time when I tried to dodge a roadblock. So let me tell you guys what happened. Okay, so one night, me and my sister was coming from um, hanging out. And we got down um, the road. And there was this long, very, very long line of cars stopped by the police. It was a roadblock. And I was like, I looked over and I, t I told my sister, well, first, when I came up in the line, I stopped, okay, because I had no choice, really, because, like I said, everybody was stopped, and it was a long line. So I stopped, and then I was sitting there, and I started looking how long the line was and how long it would have been before my turn came up. For them, you know, to come and ask for my license and everything. So I looked over and I told my sister, I was like, I'm going to turn around because I'm not about to sit here in this long line. And it wasn't because, you know, I had anything bad in my car, no beer, no liquor. I don't drink. I don't drink and drive or nothing. I'm not a druggie. I don't do drugs. So there was nothing bad in my car. So that wasn't the reason. It was just because sometimes I get very impatient. So this was one of those nights when I was very impatient. And I was like, I don't want I don't feel like sitting here in this long line. So I told my sister I was gonna turn around. She did tell me that I shouldn't have done that. But I'm also hard-headed sometimes, so I didn't listen. And I turned around and went the other way. So I'm sitting here thinking, you know, because I didn't see anybody come behind me or anything for a while. So I'm sitting here thinking that when I turned around, everything was all good. And, you know, he was just going to go go home so we was riding along after I turned around we was riding along for probably about I would say maybe a minute and then I noticed some blue lights behind me so I was like oh hell nah <laughs> I said why are they behind me <laughs> so um, a police was behind me, and, um, so I pulled over, and I stopped. Then the police pulled over behind me, got out the car, um, come shining this flashlight in my face, and he said, ma'am, do you know that, um, that was a roadblock? And you, you're not supposed to turn around in a roadblock. You're supposed to stop like everybody else. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Even though I did know, I was just too damn impatient to stop. So I just told the officer, no, I did not know. It was a roadblock. So he said, okay, so um, do you have anything in your car that I need to know about? I was like, no, I don't. And he asked me for my license. And then he said, do you mind me searching your car? And I said, no. So me and my sister, this was nighttime, okay? Me and my sister had to get out of my car. All because I turned around for because I didn't want to wait for a roadblock we had to get out of my car stand up on the road 
for the police to search my car. I was so mad. I was pissed. Seriously, I was pissed. I should have said no. He couldn't search my car, but I just felt like if I said no, then he definitely would have thought um, I was hiding something and it would have gone further. So I just let him search my car because, yeah, I was in the wrong for turning around in the first place. So he searched my car, you know, sat there, looked all over my car, all in the seats, all in my um, glove compartment, every place while we were standing up outside. And he didn't find anything, of course, in my car. So then he told me, um, just make sure the next time that you see a roadblock that you stop and never turn around again. So I said, okay. So we got back in the car and from that point everything was okay and we went home. But I was just so pissed that, you know, this police made us got out of the car at night while we were standing up by the road, by the highway, and he was searching out my car. It just pissed me off. But I said to myself, I'll make sure the next time when I see a roadblock, I would try not to be so impatient and turn around. You know, I'll just sit there no matter how long it takes. Hopefully. That's what I'll try to do, but sometimes I'm so impatient till I don't know. But next time, definitely, that's what I'm going to try to do. So thank you so much, guys, for listening to this story time. And make sure if you haven't seen my other story times that you check those out. And tune in for more story times to come. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to subscribe like share and comment um see you guys later bye